Crew, 10 docks at ISS, fresh team arrives to relieve Starliner astronauts. A major milestone in NASA's commercial crew program. In a significant advancement for human spaceflight, SpaceX's Crew-10 mission has successfully arrived at the International Space Station ISS, marking the latest chapter in NASA's ambitious commercial crew program. The four-person crew, riding aboard the Crew Dragon spacecraft Endeavour, docked with the orbital outpost in the early hours of Sunday morning after a flawless launch and a 24-hour journey through low Earth orbit. With their arrival, Crew-10 will take over operations aboard the ISS, allowing for the orderly transition of responsibilities from the existing crew, including NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who arrived aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft months ago. NASA and its international partners hailed the arrival as yet another success for commercial spaceflight, reinforcing the growing role of private companies in supporting sustained human presence in space. This mission is yet another demonstration of how commercial partnerships are transforming human spaceflight, said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. With every successful launch and docking, we are proving that space is no longer just the domain of government agencies, private industry is now a key driver of exploration, innovation, and progress. A flawless launch and journey to the ISS. The Crew-10 mission began with a spectacular nighttime launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. At precisely 2.25 a.m. Eastern Time, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket ignited and roared skyward from Launch Complex 39A, sending Crew Dragon Endeavor on its journey to the ISS. The nine Merlin engines of the Falcon 9's first stage burned for approximately two and a half minutes before shutting down, allowing for a precise stage separation. Moments later, the second stage fired up, carrying the capsule into orbit while the first stage made a controlled descent back to Earth, landing safely on SpaceX's drone ship, just read the instructions, stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. With the launch completed successfully, Crew Dragon Endeavour smoothly entered a choreographed series of orbital maneuvers, gradually aligning its trajectory with the ISS. Over the next 24 hours, the spacecraft used its onboard thrusters to adjust speed and altitude, ensuring a perfect approach to the station's Harmony Module docking port. At exactly 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, the capsule autonomously docked with the ISS, as mission controllers at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston and SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, monitored the operation in real time. Once final pressure equalization checks were completed, the station's crew opened the hatch, and crew, 10 astronauts floated inside the ISS, greeted with cheers, handshakes, and warm embraces from their colleagues aboard the station. Meet the crew, 10 astronauts, a diverse, highly skilled team. The Crew-10 mission is a truly international endeavor, bringing together astronauts from NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and Roscosmos. Each member of the crew brings specialized expertise, crucial for maintaining station operations and advancing scientific research. Commander Matthew Dominic, NASA a former U.S. Navy test pilot and first-time space traveler, Dominic is responsible for overseeing ISS operations and ensuring mission success. Pilot Michael Barrett, NASA a veteran astronaut, physician, and space medicine expert, Barrett previously spent six months on the ISS in 2009 and flew aboard Space Shuttle Discovery in 2011. Mission Specialist Marcus Wandt, ESA, Sweden selected as an ESA astronaut in 2022, Wandt will focus on European scientific experiments and advanced technology demonstrations. Mission Specialist Alexander Grubenkin, Roscosmos, Russia a first-time cosmonaut specializing in spacecraft operations and station maintenance. As part of their mission, Crew-10 will conduct extensive scientific research, spacewalks, and technology demonstrations, ensuring that the ISS continues to serve as a cutting-edge research platform in microgravity. The Science Mission, Unlocking the Secrets of Space Crew-10 will be at the forefront of scientific research, participating in over 200 experiments covering a wide range of disciplines. These studies will provide crucial insights into human health, biotechnology, physics, and climate science, helping pave the way for future deep space missions, including NASA's Artemis program and potential Mars expeditions. Key Research Areas for Crew-10 
Human health in space, examining how prolonged spaceflight affects the muscular, skeletal, and cardiovascular systems, crucial for understanding how astronauts can live and work on the Moon and Mars. Biomanufacturing in microgravity, investigating how stem cells, tissues, and pharmaceuticals can be produced in space, potentially revolutionizing medicine on Earth. Climate and Earth monitoring, using ISS-based sensors to track climate patterns, ocean temperatures, and atmospheric changes, improving our ability to combat global climate change. Advanced materials testing, studying how new alloys, coatings, and composites respond to the extreme conditions of space, influencing the next generation of spacecraft and habitats. Additionally, Crew-10 will oversee robotic demonstrations, testing systems that could one day be used to assemble habitats and spacecraft in orbit. Preparing for spacewalks and station maintenance. Beyond scientific research, Crew-10 will also perform several spacewalks, helping to upgrade the ISS and prepare for future missions. Their primary objectives include Installing new solar arrays to enhance the station's power generation capacity. Inspecting and repairing external modules to ensure the ISS remains structurally sound. Testing new EVA, extravehicular activity, suits that will be used in upcoming lunar missions. By completing these crucial maintenance tasks, Crew-10 will extend the lifespan of the ISS and ensure that it remains a viable platform for future missions well into the 2030s. The Starliner astronauts prepare for departure. With Crew-10 now settled aboard the ISS, attention turns to the return of the Starliner astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. Their mission, which was originally intended to last only two weeks, has been extended for several months due to ongoing technical evaluations of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. NASA engineers have worked closely with Boeing to assess Starliner's long-duration capabilities, troubleshooting minor thruster issues and software updates to ensure a smooth return. Once final checks are completed, Starliner will undock and begin its journey back to Earth, with a planned landing in the western United States. This flight is a critical test for Boeing's Starliner program, determining whether the spacecraft is ready for full operational status alongside SpaceX's Crew Dragon. The future of human spaceflight, what's next? Crew-10's arrival represents just one step in NASA's broader vision for human space exploration. As the ISS continues to serve as a training ground for deep space missions, NASA, SpaceX, and Boeing are laying the groundwork for future Moon and Mars expeditions. NASA's Artemis program, aiming to return humans to the Moon by 2026, using the ISS as a proving ground for long-duration missions. Private spaceflight growth, companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Axiom Space are developing new space stations and expanding commercial space tourism. Mars exploration, research conducted aboard the ISS today will be vital for NASA's goal of landing astronauts on Mars in the late 2030s or early 2040s. For now, Crew-10 will embark on their six-month journey, conducting research, maintaining the ISS, and preparing the station for the next wave of explorers. With each mission, we move one step closer to a new era of human space exploration, one that extends far beyond low Earth orbit, into the vast unknown.